My name is Nicholas Gebelt and I'm a bankruptcy attorney. I'm frequently asked if a person needs to wait before filing and if so, how much time and should the credit cards be paid. It helps to know what happens after we file the papers to know what's at stake in answering this question and what we can do to avoid problems. Again, pre-petition planning to avoid post-petition problems. So, when we file the papers, the bankruptcy court is going to send notices out to each of the creditors. The creditor gets the notice and it has to make a determination on whether or not it wants to challenge the discharge of that debt. If it does, it will appeal to two pieces of ammunition. Number one, the debt's very recent. It therefore should not be discharged. Number two, you never made any payments on the debt after you incurred the debt. Therefore, it shouldn't be discharged. What we like to do is age the debts, let some water pass under the bridge before we file, and have you make a few bare minimum payments. We're not trying to make headway on the principal, just trying to get a track record of paying something. So the obvious questions then are how much time, how many payments. What I can say is it's based on three factors. Number one, the identity of the creditor. Some creditors are more aggressive than others, so if you've got a more aggressive creditor, we need more time and more bare minimum payments than with a less aggressive creditor. That's determined based on experience. Number two, what'd you buy? Necessities of life tend to be viewed more sympathetically than luxury goods or services. And number three, how did you incur the debt? A gradual accretion over time is not as important as surges. Surges mean we need more time, more bare minimum payments. Now this is a somewhat complicated analysis that we do at our first meeting. So if you do have that question, you come on in. We will do that analysis and fine tune the chronology.